Thank you very much for taking the time, first of all. Mm -hmm. And I would like first to begin with a, a question about what made you choose this career path. Oh, my career path, um, I mean, at the beginning uh, was that um, in the school I was good at mathematics and my mathematics teacher started uh, computer classes in the uh, last four years and I did that and then I decided to study um, business informatics because that was for me interesting to combine informatics with um, business and that helped me a lot and I had no idea what it would bring and what where I am going but I started and I kept going on. And how is uh, the gender balance in your current working environment? Uh, it is better in my current environment. It was not that uh, good or not that diverse in my former uh, path, path um, because I had also a couple of other um, work experience and that's why I also left um, being in a corporate Okay. Because I was one Which of the, the two. Which were the biggest challenges that you have? No challenges. You can have challenges everywhere, but um, no, I do not want to be in a group of only men, <laughs> just be the two, one of the two women. So I said I will go out the corporate, and I can do work with anybody, with women, men, as I wish, and all others. And it is more now I have the possibility because I'm working freelance, I'm doing projects, I can hire for my projects anybody I like. That's why I look everywhere. Also some not from Austria, so I try to bring also the best people together. So this is, this is much more diverse because I can look for anybody that is good in their special um, Sector. And from your opinion, is there a special reasons why women don't join this? There are a lot of reasons. <laughs> I'm doing this uh, like 20 years now. Okay. <laughs> so, so you got a lot to share, that's very good. <laughs> yes, I have a lot of to share and that I cannot make very accurate in one sentence um, because there are many, many aspects. Uh, I mean, the gender aspect is also, but I'm also thinking about aspects of the style of work we've been doing, how we are forced to be in a very uh, strict environment with working schedule, working place, to be at the office and so on. So that's I'm trying to um, f make flexible. That's why I went away from being corporate um, employee. And I said, the world is changing. We are everywhere. We can work from everywhere, anytime. So the work um, landscape has to change. And I'm uh, also working this style, so to give experience also to the others, that we practiced a lot of things. How can we change the world? How can corporates change? How can schools change? How can universities change? So it is not only the gender, um, because I think much of the problems that women are leaving corporates or scheduled uh, employee um, style working is because they want to have families, they have relatives, they have to take care, they have kids, they don't want to work 60 hours, anything can be a reason and this should go all together, it's not only for women that it is a problem, it's also for men, but they cannot leave and do housework because they have to earn the money for that. So this we can talk, but we wrote also, oh, I don't have these files, he wrote a book that is called The New Working Online to show how the technological um, innovations can help us to make things differently and also to change um, um, styles that are being done, um, that have been done <laughs> the last couple of 20, 40 years. <laughs> so this is what we are doing. You talk a lot about change. Mm -hmm. And as a digital champion, champion yes. of all, mm -hmm. yeah, I really appreciate like your initiative for the Elm Week, especially mm -hmm. because you are offering a lot of workshops for kids. 
Yeah. As you saw today, we also have the our own right. workshop talking because we, we strongly believe that we can make a change in the very young generation. Mm -hmm. So based on your experience, uh, how early do you think that kids should start with, let's say, coding and programming? Oh, okay, that's a little too much for my... Um, <laughs> I mean, as I, I can talk uh, as a mother and as, as a business champion uh, that is interesting. Yeah, as a mother also, it's <laughs> very well. Yes, but uh, from the uh, real uh, teaching perspective, uh, of course, I ask also others uh, how we can do these workshops. So I'm not the head of um, the pedagogical part, but I'm head of making it even able to make a change. That's my um, approach. And for that, we have also examples that you can learn computer science unplugged without a computer. And you need only paper and pen, and the ch school children, you just have to have these methods and to teach it to the t teachers. They can start also in the, uh, in the kindergarten. Because there you don't need tablets, you don't need any other software. You have, you need your brain and these some small cards and blocks and things. This is what should change. We have to get this information, this knowledge to everybody that that computational thinking or software or um, what also lies behind hardware is uh, related to everybody, not only the computer scientists. I think that should change and that I'm trying to make available for kids, for the teachers, and for the parents also. That they see, okay, uh, my kid can be a historian, but he knows how computers work and how software works, and maybe he can also, he or she, can do software, or change things like data, or make things with data in his, in her job. So that's what we are trying to get out everywhere. <laughs> I find it a very good initiative, honestly. Thank um, you. And in the end, I would like to ask you if you have a, a message for, for the women tech makers. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes, of course. I mean, keep going. <laughs> the work is not done yet. <laughs> I've been doing it 20 years. I see some positive change and some are lacking and I'm, um, sometimes you really lose hope, but you have to be together to see that it's going and to have an um, energy for the next year and another energy for the next year and so on. And with the new technologies, we are a global movement. So you can get help from everywhere. That is what I'm... We can uh, make an online conference and bring somebody from the United States, from Singapore next year, from Brussels or Berlin. So we can do it all together, that could be a nice yeah. at, uh, extra. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.